Oh? I didn't think I would see you here. Are these two your friends? Yes. We had the fortune of meeting not too long ago. They are quite a knowledgeable and talented pair, and a pleasure to be around. Traveler, we were just discussing the history of Rex Lapis. Would you like to listen? Uh, this good sir seems not to appreciate the almighty power of the Lord of Geo. As a professional archaeologist, I'm inclined to correct some of his... Uh, we are discussing the whereabouts of the First Mora. The First Mora? As everyone knows, the Lord of Geo taught the ancient people of Liyue the craft of smelting, creating goods that allowed them to develop trade with the early nations of that time. Today, Liyue holds the sole right to cast Mora in the entire continent of Tivat. The world's very first Mora should have been cast by the hands of the Lord of Geo himself thousands of years ago. According to my research, as well as my own hypothesis, I believe that this coin of unique historical significance has been passed down secretly through the years as a kind of token. For example, perhaps the Qi Xing who control the Liyue use it in some kind of unknown ceremony they hold when they come to power. No, no, no. My research indicates that the first Mora coin is not such a simple thing. Mora is a catalyst. This we all know. Even today, Mora is used in the mystic arts for its curious properties of weapon enhancement. Huh? The world's first Mora would no doubt possess the strongest power. My next historical treatise will boldly expound on the newest findings from my intense decade-long research. That is, that the Lord of Geo used this original Mora as a catalyst to enhance a dagger and a sword. A dagger and a sword? Well, by the book when it co I can't say I agree. Hmm? <clears throat> Let us not speak of the authenticity of the dagger and sword first. Rex Lapis just meant for Mora to serve as a catalyst for people to exchange and trade. The world's first Mora is probably just an ordinary coin created by Rex Lapis. As for its fate... The same as all more, I suspect. Hmm. I think that... No, no, I am... Enough! Do you think you understand the Lord of Geo more than me? I know but little about history, and I wouldn't dare to brag. But discussion is... Well then, answer me this. Long ago, when Liyue Harbor was being constructed, the Lord of Geo taught the people how to build houses. The model home he used to teach them was completely cast from Mora, correct? That is correct, indeed. Okay, then tell me. Why would the Lord of Geo do something so extravagant it- There's a simple explanation, really. Uh, oh. Huh. <laughs> I mean- <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Uh, I have some questions about archaeology. Can we find somewhere quiet to chat? I mean, if it's okay with you. Oh, it's no problem at all. But may my friend accompany you? Of course. They can come if that's what pleases you, sir. Let's go. What I'm about to say is a bit disrespectful of the Lord of Geo and would draw a lot of angry looks. So it's best to discuss this somewhere quiet. Your argument just now exhibited acuteness of speech and thought. Most importantly, you don't fall for the boasting and acting of the others. You remain objective. So I have a question for you. Perhaps you will answer differently from other scholars. Do you think that all the gods that the Geo are conquered? Let's not analyze it in terms of good versus evil. Rex Lapis placed great importance on the integrity of contracts. So any gods he killed certainly must have broken some kind of contract. Right! The Lord of Geo wouldn't kill the innocent! But when I was doing some research, I learned about the legend of the God of Salt. 
the god of salt, Havria, was a very kind god. But she encountered Morax one day in battle. Morax used a rather underhanded trick to... assassinate her. What? No way! This... this bit of history is a long story. But you may not like the truth when you hear it. Don't worry, please tell me what you know. This event... I've already searched for answers for a long time. No, it's just... <sighs> Where should I begin? Over here! Mr. Zhongli! I've been looking for you! <laughs> ah, so you're over here all this time. Put down your weapon and stay back! Otherwise... Uh... Paimon's reporting you to the Millilith! First of all, I'm not holding a weapon. There's no need to overreact now. I'm simply an archaeological researcher from Snezhnaya. I'm not here for trouble. The Fatui say that every time! But this time, I registered with the Liyue Ministry of Civil Affairs. I could show you the official documentation if you want to see it. I will be conducting an archaeological survey here, the results of which will all be shared with the Ministry. I heard that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor had a consultant named Zhang Li, with immense knowledge of ancient history and archaeology. So I paid Wangsheng Funeral Parlor a handsome amount to hire Zhang Li as my own consultant while I'm in town. So you mean to say that this is work for the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, yes? Well, since it's work, I don't have a choice. A consultant- Of course you would be such a reasonable man. Well then, let's head out now, shall we? Wait, if you are studying archaeology, can I go too? I am also a scholar in this field. That will give us a chance to continue the topic we were just discussing. Oh, and you should tag along too. This experience may be of help to you on your future adventure. It is a story from before the Rise of the Seven. Although the god of... This is... Wait. This is an archaeological expedition, not a tour group. But this friend of mine has a treasure find... Oh? What talent? If my friend espies a treasure chest... Hey, Paimon's good at that, too! Well, that is quite enticing. All right, then. Well, let's go. There's no time to waste. When the Overlord of the Vortex was crushed by the Jade Chamber recently, perhaps something of interest was what An ancient artifact would be good. Traces of ancient... place looks so ordinary. Can we really find it? Huh? huh? I don't mean... Guyon Stone f Legend has it that Rex Lapis threw after many years... These mountains? What we see now, but due to the... So besides... We well, a god able to... Indeed. Most of the objects... So you're saying that if we look carefully, we'll be able to get... Uh, I mean, rich with... Uh, since we brought so many people... Okay, then. I will go with my friend here. Although I have a... Sp huh? Me? What's the matter? This is your profession. Why are you so surprised? I get it. Uh okay. The ancient god probably left behind lots of elemental marks. Following them should make our search much easier. Well, go ahead then. Use your elemental sight to look for any marks.
I'll watch your back. Guyan Stone Forest is a place where a god was defeated, and its remnants still affect the area to this day. It emits the remnant strength of the gods. That would certainly attract them. But the Hydromonic monsters. Hmm. I have a contract. I must put my personal feelings aside. Go ahead. Defeat them. And recover the relic. Just a stone slab, but its design is quite unique. 
This should be enough to garner some information. Let's head back. Call yourself a scholar of archaeology? You can't even recognize this or that! What are you good for? We all have our areas of expertise. I already tried very hard to explain. Oh, stop arguing! What in the world happened? This girl just keeps bragging about how she's an archaeologist, but she doesn't even know anything about the surrounding ruins. I even know more than her. She left me to rely solely- uh, I've just been researching the god of- and you! You kept asking about how much more I- I, I mean, is- Now, now, calm down. No need to make a fuss. We were able- Oh. What a shame. This stone slab we found, however- Quick, give- <laughs> Oh, but these other ob- So, it's all- Not at all. But you? Nonsense. I'm a professional archaeology researcher for- Oh, by the way. Oh? That's not an a- Ah, I see. See? You- But I- so, huh. I heard that Salterai was once the home of the God of Salt's people. Therefore, <laughs> there are sure to be loads of valuable relics nearby. According to legend, the people of the God of Salt, Havria, enjoyed prosperous lives under her protection. But this legend has been around for ages. With the countless scrap collectors and treasure hoarders in the area, there probably aren't many valuable things left here. Oh, that's just great. If I knew it was picked this clean before, I wouldn't have come! About that. I know there's a ruin deep in this cave here. It's related to the God of Salt, which is actually how the area originally got its name of Sal Terai. However, the ruin entrance has been sealed by a mysterious power. Nobody has been able to break the seal. I found a mechanism that seemed to be related to the seal, but when I undid the mechanism, the seal wasn't affected at all. So at the moment, the seal's origin and how to break it are very important. I don't know. There's no concrete evidence. But I'm pretty sure the seal is meant to hide some kind of long-forgotten truth. The god of salt was a benevolent god, adored by the people, not to mention powerful. She wouldn't have any kind of shameful secrets to hide. So, the one who wants to hide some truth is very possibly her killer, Morax. This doesn't sound like something the Lord of Geo would do, though. Who cares about all that? It sounds like countless treasures of the God of Salt lie within this ruin, just waiting for someone to find them, right? You weren't listening at all, were you? Ugh. Even if there's a mountain of treasures inside, nobody can get in if the seal isn't broken. Ah, but we have the illustrious Mr. Zhang Li with us. He looks like he knows just about everything. A little seal shouldn't be any trouble for him. This seal seems to be quite ancient. Even Mr. Zhang Li may not know all of its secrets. I may know something about it. Wh what Over the years, I've heard various rumors with bits of knowledge about seals. Although their references seem rather disorderly, they do in fact contain the secret to breaking seals. Let's go take a look at the mechanism Miss Wanyan just mentioned. Okay, since Mr. Zhang Li says so, follow me then.
Take flight. Here it is. There's some debris scattered here that, when put together, look like they definitely had to do with the God of Salt. According to the inscription on the side, if one looks from a certain angle, the secret to the mechanism will be revealed. See that? Although we activated the mechanism... That's because there's actually another mechanism that must be activated. Uh, another? This place seems familiar. Huh, I remember. I think there's some elemental monuments here. When I investigated the seal last time, I had someone with a vision a comp- but when we lit up all the elements. That's because you don't just need to activate them at the same time, but in a certain order as well. The secret to this puzzle is hidden in the Tianhung in the south, Yao Guang in the east, Jueyun in the west, Qingzhe in the north. All desolate and devoid of life. Liyue is vast. To the north, to the east, do the people of Liyue always talk in riddles? <laughs> I think I've heard this saying before. Certainly you have. And the contents of this saying are also related to the god of to provide a haven for her people, whose lives had been ravaged by the Archon War. This benevolent, at that time, with the chaotic fires of war engulfing the land, even and that haven she eventually... F How sad then. In the end, this peaceful place was destroyed by... Okay, enough with... Tianhong in the south. Yao Guang, with this clue, you should be able to solve the puzzle. Let me lead the way from here. Tianhong in the south, Yao Guang in the east, Jueyun in the west, Qingzhe in the north. The directions are the clue. Give it another try. Hmm. <laughs> 
was broken! Mr. Zhang Li is indeed quite remarkable. It was nothing, really. Now, it's time that people learn the hidden truth lost to time. Before entering the ruin, I have a proposal that will help us prevent the kind of senseless arguing between you two that we saw at Guyanstone Forest. Okay. What is it? I propose you two agree upon a contract, stipulating that we alternate who gets claim to each treasure we encounter, with only one object permitted per claim. To show my sincerity, I won't be taking any treasure. This will just be between- Hey! Don't pass an opportunity like this up so easily! I don't agree. I mean, you want me to split the treasure with this amateur- I don't agree either. <laughs> he will only defile the precious relics left behind by the God of Salt. Well then, if the contract is not agreed upon, I will no longer serve as your consultant. You will have to rely on your own experience to find whatever treasures are hidden in this ruin as well as traps. You, you, you have the audacity to demand this. <sighs> okay then, even half of the treasure in the long-sealed ruin of the God of Salt should be enough to make a fortune. If you want me to agree upon this contract, so be it. I just have one request, Mr. Zhongli. If we discover the truth behind the God of Salt, you must judge it fairly, even if the truth harms Morax's image. I can accept this arrangement. Well then, let's go. We're going to hunt.
empty chest. Good for storage. As you wish. <sighs> As Manthus. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. They were probably followers of the God of Salt. How did they become this way? What in the world is hidden deep in this ruin? Thank you. 
crumble! Just looks like a fancy salt holder. Seems like the god of salt was a god lacking in treasures. According to my knowledge, it's no ordinary vessel. Although it is only half full, it is also forever half full. That is to say, it is bottomless. What? You're saying that even if I pour the salt out, the amount inside won't change? Exactly. Able to produce endless salt. The god of salt is powerful indeed. Finally, after all that effort, I've found precious treasure. I claim this is mine. I just need to pour the endless salt into a thousand or ten thousand bags. I can sell it and make a fortune. Hey, how can you use a relic of the god of salt for such a shallow pursuit? If Mr. Clement wants this salt chalice, then the next object we find will belong to Miss Wanyan, according to the contract agreed upon. Of course, as we agreed. <laughs> Since we have a contract... <sighs> then let's move on. Just a simple ruler. It doesn't look to be worth anything. This, if I remember correctly, this is some kind of measuring tool. Indeed. When you stick this root, the deeper it is stuck in the ground. What? That, that's even... Well then. Okay. No, unacceptable. I paid for and organized this entire expedition. Why should I get the short end of the stick? And this girl has been useless. Why would she get anything? So you are saying you want to break the contract? So what if I break it? Now that I've seen how the mechanisms in this ruin work, I no longer need you. Let's not forget who hired who here. Why should I let you- Because you agreed to a contract. Rex Lapis once said, ones who break their contracts shall suffer- That is one of your Liyue gods. I am from Snezhnaya. I- Will suffer. The Wrath of the Rock. Pay your dues. No escape! Prepare yourself! This is order. Solidify. Take flight. 
Can't you run from debt? I shall confiscate your treasure as well. You are not worthy to continue. Oh, damn! <laughs> Some Arculat, yeah! Clement's wrongdoing stem. When people see the. I think we should. Huh? That in truth. Uh, what? Miss, you aren't interested in archaeology or relics. What you're really interested in is the God of Salt. I believe those legends about the God of Salt that you mentioned on the Pearl Gap. Okay, that's enough. Sir, you're right. Our ancestors were those protected by the God of Salt all the. Oh! During the war, Mora. We. We hate him, so I see. Uh, we agreed to a contract. Naturally. Come with me. against the evil Morak. The power of this sword. Sh if we can repair the sword, then we... Two pieces of a broken sword. B why? We yes. <laughs> um, Zhang Li, she seems like a good person, and no one is fighting over the treasure. How about you let this one slide, huh? When there's a contract, nothing can be allowed to slide. If the contract is not followed, then it is broken. No! If I only take one half, then it can't be repaired, and the power of the God of Salt cannot be restored. No matter what, I must be faithful to her. Even if it breaks the contract, I don't care. So you are already decided? Hmm. Then there is a price to pay for breaking the contract. Shang Li! That is to say... You consign yourself to suffer the wrath of the rock. That... that's okay. The God of Salt gave up her life to protect her people. My sacrifice is nothing compared to that. Punish me however you want. Just let me take this proof of my faith. No, you can't hit her! 
Perhaps that punishment would be easier for her, but... As punishment, I will tell you the truth. Huh? The truth? You mean the truth is my punishment? Yes. The truth that I am about to tell you shall be your price to pay for breaking the contract. I'm afraid to say that the God of Salt, Havria, was not the powerful god you imagine her to be. Rather, she was a small and weak god who yielded to all other gods. When it came to war, she lost, never able to win a seat among the Seven. What? During the Archon War, the gods of this world used all their strength and cunning to vie for control of Tevat. But Havria instead chose to flee. She thought that by giving up before a fight could start, she could save herself and her people from the war. However, during such a long war, there is no end to the advances of aggressors. After making countless concessions, Avria lost all of her lands, until only one small haven remained. No. No! It can't be so! In her last days, she had not even a single blade to defend her people with. Not even a single blade? Then... this sword... This sword is not a relic belonging to the God of Salt, but is instead the murder weapon used to kill her. Murder weapon? No! That's not true! That can't be true! You're trying to test my faith in the God of Salt! As I said before, I only state the facts. Preposterous! You, you are a follower of Morax! Don't try to trick me! Hey! Hey! Come back! It is a punishment after all. I did not want to tell her such cruel facts. But the contract was broken. Let's follow her deeper into the ruin. There, I fear, we will find something that will leave her no choice but to face the truth. life could be as leisurely as this a little more often. <laughs> How greedy of me. A blade embraces its duty, as a jeweler cherishes their gems. Salt, 
and betrayal. So this is a day in the life of the Traveler. <laughs> I'm learning more about you all the time. A blade embraces its duty, as a jeweler cherishes their gems. A blade embraces its duty, as a jeweler cherishes their gems. A blade is like a tea leaf. Only those who sample it many times can appreciate its true qualities. They do. What? What happened? Since you do not trust me, let us continue onward. That which lies beyond this door will show you all that happened back then. This is the scene of the crime. Havria's but <gasps> The story continues that some among her people realized at last that this gentle, kind, but weak god, the Archon War was cruel in the extreme. Instead of consigning her to the agony of defeat, they thought perhaps it would be better to give her a quick release. Statue thingies. No matter how weak the god, the power that flows forth when they are slain is beyond the strength of mortal coils to bear. Those who could not flee were thus transformed. Those of her people who were untouched by this disaster left for Lyua, where they sought refuge with Rex Lapis. Their descendants feel so they risked their lives, but they need not have done. Uh, this must be a lot. Don't you dare! Tr Yikes! Xiang Li didn't. Ch this is the price she must pay. Judging by how she appeared, I fear that she will struggle for a time. But even if she may not escape that struggle immediately. Simply recognizing the truth is good enough for now. Indeed. In ages past, have re faith in a god who has already passed will do you no good. So it is for Havria. 
And so it is for Mora. All right, then. Now... Huh? What do you want to do, Zhongli? <sighs> Treading old ground. Telling old stories. One cannot help but be reminded of old acquaintances. Let the show be <laughs> Take flight, come it out to art. Samantha. remains unfinished.
Now, I mentioned before that many gods of old have been sealed beneath the... The Adepti have presently handed Leo over to mortals. And Havri is tough to leave them here, is to let them slumber. And I ended an era with my own two hands. History records, but history may be changed. I need to find a better way of stone carvings. Therefore, I thought of you, traveler. You are one who crosses the celestial atlas and who passes through countless worlds. If our history is in... As long as a traveler like you is able to record what happened, then a backup of sorts will... Uh, now then, it is time that... Uh, why do we need to throw them into the sea? As I said before, this is the place to which the remnants of many bygone gods are consigned. This includes Osail, overlord of the Vortex, who the Jade Chamber most recently... Re Thousands of years ago, the Adepti and I fought against the turmoil that plagued every corner of this land. <gasps> Guyan Stone Forest, where I sealed many gods with my spears. After so long, naught but folk tales remain. Oh, Sire, you and I were foes. But our ancient grudge is but a bygone memory now. May that which Havria has left behind be yours to subsume. <sighs> and thus another spark of divinity departs from Liyue. My legacy shall now be left to those who come after to debate.